So for this image, we want to give the impression that the, the photograph itself has been shot on Velvia stock, and a particular characteristic of, of that particular film stock, which is mostly used for landscape photography, is an exaggerated contrast and also exaggerated saturation. And we can easily give that impression here. I'm just going to tweak the contrast just a little bit more. And then I'm going to grab the saturation slider. I'm just going to slowly drag it up until I'm happy with the result. Now, I'm going to exaggerate this a little here so you can see it better on screen. And that looks, that looks about perfect to me. Some nice saturated colours possibly even tweak that clarity slider a little more and just pump in a little more saturation. Just gently drag up that recovery slider and I'm just going to knock down the exposure just a touch and open up the brightness slider a little. So you can see that this is a real balancing act. But once you've uh, once you've processed a few images, it'll be something you'll get used to. We need to concentrate in in these sort of areas around here. Make sure that we've got plenty of detail in these areas of water. As I say, any final adjustments to colour temperature or tint we can do with these two sliders at the top here. Drag the tint slider towards the green, obviously to make it greener and cooler, or we can drag it towards the magenta. I'm just going to take that a little way towards the green there. OK, so now we need to sharpen the image and also remove some of the noise. You'll often find when you open up areas of mid-tone and areas of shadow that we do get quite a bit of noise showing through. Now, one of the most important factors here when you're sharpening and removing noise is that you do make sure you work at 100% magnification because that's the only real way we can see just how much sharpening we're adding. So make sure you click on the details tab and I always start by using really quite a high amount value on the sharpening and I'm just going to increase the radius of this just a little to around about one point for 1.5 pixels and we can see at this stage this is much too sharp. I'm going to reduce that detail slider for the time being and now I'm just going to back off on this amount slider until I'm happy with the result. What we're looking for here is some really nice sharpening but without any telltale sharpening halos which can make things look rather too contrasty and jagged. So it's just a case of backing that off and using your judgment until you're happy with the result. One very useful feature here is to check and uncheck the preview box so we can see the difference. I'm just going to give that a little more and we'll pump in a little more detail sharpening there. Now noise reduction, I want to go to an area of kind of mid-tones and dark tones. Actually, this isn't too bad for noise reduction, but as it says on the label, this slider will remove any color noise, which shows up as mainly red and green colored pixels in your shadow areas. And the luminance slider removes the equivalent of, of grain in the image. So again, that's just a case of adjusting those sliders until you're happy with the result. Let's just zoom out of that and have a look. That's looking pretty good. Again, I just want to nip back here and just tweak that recovery a little just to get rid of that small area of um, burning on those water highlights there. We've got a tiny little bit of black clipping going on, but that's that's really not too important. And we can correct that simply by backing off on this black slider a little. So you'll find it's remarkably easy um, to adjust an image such as this in, in Camera Raw. And it's really just a case of doing this literally visually. There's no hidden science to this. 
um, it's it's really a case of adjusting it particularly if you want to give the impression as we are doing here of Velvia stock it's really a case of adjusting it literally until the thing looks right itself once you're happy with the image itself and you've finished all your raw processing we've got two choices one we can click done which will apply the changes to the actual raw image itself but not open it in Photoshop elements or we can simply check open image and camera raw will then process the image and open it in Photoshop elements 